could get the cue ball right through there between the reds <laughs> and not hit one. It's amazing. Well, he's on the hit this. Oh, has he on the hit this? Is it going to reach? Foul. And I think it's a free ball, you know. The blue and the pink. It's a free ball. It is a free ball. He can't hit both sides of the reds. The one to the right of the little bunch, he can't hit both sides of that. That's the reason it's a free ball. Now you can see if he was to try. The first red you're looking at, he would have to hit that on the left side of it and he would contact the pink or blue there. Well, he could roll up to the brown. You can't snooker behind the free ball, but he could certainly push the brown to one side and leave the cue ball behind the yellow. But there may be value in taking this blue on here. Should he leave the cue ball down the right-hand side of the table? He definitely wouldn't be leaving a red, so there is plenty of value should he wish, wish to take this blue on. Blue. Great shot. Excellent pot. And there you see where he had the cue ball. Perfect angle on the black. And that was well worked out. One. <coughs> Excellent shot. Now needs a good split here. Didn't get it. Eight. Got a lot of power on the cue ball, but everything seems to be covering each other here. Yeah, when they're flat like that, the the reds, it's it's tough to get the cue ball into. A good spot. He couldn't have played it any better, really. Uh, are we going to see a Neil Robertson special? Or is he going to play the safety shot? And there's the answer. Neil Robertson, eight. the yellow and not a bad target now to try and get in behind and Neil can swing the cue ball off a couple of cushions over towards those bulk colors caught it a little bit on the thinnish side still looking at the tip but sometimes you better just to try and forget all about it and and decide after the match what you're going to do with it. Foul. You miss. That's a couple of fouls now from Near Mark Robinson. Williams. Yeah. He's pretty good at clipping these safety shots, Mark. Better to miss it on that occasion than hit it too thick. I think that's about right. I think you were in line with the green spot on that. Yeah. You're just yeah. saying you were in line with the green spot, so it's just about right. Problems now. That's two misses, and he'll be warned. Oh, miss. If he doesn't yeah, hit it this time, he'll lose the frame. So it'll be yeah. definitely a little bit thicker this time. Okay. Now, which way is he going to play it? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit thicker. It shows you the importance of catching that <coughs> safety shot thin.
While this match is just slipping away slightly Seven. from uh, Mike Williams. Eight. And it's one of those situations, the, the first four frames, it could have been three, one the other way. It's the first to six. Three quarter finals in the Masters. Neil Robertson never been to a semi final. 14. He's on his way here, but there's still quite a bit to do. 15. Yes, I think he is definitely a Neil Robertson supporter. Of course, your lovely wife's from Australia, isn't she, Ken? Yes, from Melbourne, where Neil Robertson's from. Beautiful city. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. We heard the boys talking at the forum in between the session when they were talking about what a great temperament Neil Robertson has. Both these players have a superb temperament. 30. Yeah, he certainly improved an awful lot, as Stephen Hendry said, in that form 51. over the last few years. He's become so much more consistent, and I think winning that World Championship certainly gave him an extra aura of confidence as well. He does walk around the table, doesn't he, with a sense of authority. 38. But he has become very consistent over the, the last few seasons. Even though he's missed that red, he certainly won't mind because that's another frame on the board. And Mark yeah. Williams got problems at the moment. As Neil Robertson goes into it, four frames to one lead now. Yes, <laughs> that is Gary Wilkinson. <laughs> it's not Neil Robertson. Yeah, at least I got that one right yesterday. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to Patsy Fagan in the audience, and it wasn't Patsy Fagan. He was sitting on the other side of the arena. <laughs> We had a bit of a laugh about that afterwards up in the pl <laughs> players' room. But Mark's got a few problems now. Um, as I say, he's 4-1 down, but uh, he could quite easily have led 3-1 at the mid-session interval. That's just how the frames have gone. A couple of tactical frames, but both players starting to queue well now. But it's Neil Robertson who's just taking control slightly. Ken. He is, uh, but I was just a bit surprised with Mark Williams. He had a couple of opportunities there to go into the pack, particularly when he was... He was perfect angle on the on the black and each